Uh, I'm uh, Henrik Kramshøj from uh, Solido Networks, which is a Danish ISP and hosting provider. We host a lot of uh, large, high-profile websites in Denmark, and uh, we've been trying to get them to use IPv6 for some years. Uh, we inform them about it, but most customers just ignore it, unfortunately. So uh, we have a few ones that we are very proud of. Uh, we have information.dk, which is a Danish uh, local newspaper, one of the largest ones. And we also have uh, a lot of uh, local sites from IDG, which is uh, the localized version of Computer World and a lot of forum sites. Uh, we, we asked them uh, if they could update their DNS. That's the only change that they have to do. So uh, some of them want to do it and some of them are afraid to lose customers. We've been offering this uh, service uh, since 2009, where we decided that everything should be IPv6 enabled and everything should be ready for IPv6. So since 2009, we have uh, Board devices that support IPv6, we have gotten transit providers, internet connections with IPv6. The biggest problems that we've been running into is that some devices needed to be upgraded, some devices needed to be rebooted, and uh, it's been fairly okay with the devices that we have bought. And uh, today we only have very specific problems that we have to work around. We have a very specific need for providing high availability, so we wanted to use the VRP V6 which is the Virtual Router Redundancy Protocol, and it's not available on our devices yet. But we can work around it by using uh, cluster interfaces on the devices instead. The number of eyeballs accessing these sites over IPv6 are about 200 concurrent sessions with HTTP, which is quite interesting because a lot of the users are normal internet users, they're not network professionals, just ordinary internet users that have IPv6. After the IPv6 world launch day, we didn't see much of an increase in Denmark because the sites we host are mostly of interest for Danes and none of the Danish ISPs have rolled out IPv6 natively for users. Uh, I do have a few tips for uh, hosting providers that want to get started with IPv6 if they haven't already. And it is to immediately start using it, activate it on some test equipment, make sure that you upgrade the software so you have ready IPv6 uh, devices when you, when you need them because uh, at the moment it's not very important, so you can play around with it, you can start it, you can activate it without much difficulty.